Scootopians. Oh man, Dan here. Welcome to Scootopia. You know why I'm so excited? Because now we're getting ready to feature the second scooter that I talked about in that list of 65 plus mile an hour scooters. Well, it's about six of them. We already did the Tevron Fighter Supreme. We got some more stuff coming out on that. And remember I told you, we got the Thunder 3 coming. Well, guess what? The Thunder 3 is here. <laughs> we got the Thunder 3. We're going to unbox the Thunder 3 today and, um, and you know, give you a few pointers on it, what's going on with it and everything. Probably, you know, test out some things, but I'm not going to do a whole lot because, you know, just because y'all don't see the cast don't mean my hand is completely healed because <laughs> it's not. It, it, it's, it's, it's as weak as a two month old baby's hand. That's what it is right now. All right. So if you see me fronting like I got some power, don't don't believe the hype. You know, I ain't ready, but you might see me get on the scooter and you might see me kind of creep on down the road, but don't start cussing me out. I'm just doing very little, all right? So let's unbox this thing and see what we got, all right? Join me and subscribe. So let's do this unboxing. We're gonna unbox this Dualtron Thunder 3 so you can see exactly what's going on. So let's get to it. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Ooh. All right. And here's the grand reveal. This is your charging brick. I was hoping we'd have a five amp charging brick, but we don't. When it's flat like this, it's probably a 1.75, you know. And so this one here is not even 1.75, it's a 1.4, but it'll charge up to 83. That's That'll be a 20 hour charge, at least. And I don't understand that. Like put two chargers in the box. All right, the steering pole, look how beefy that is. Oh my God. We have a owner's manual, all right? Then you have the product manual and then a quick little starter guide. Here we have the charging cable. And of course, you know what's in there, something old man Dan doesn't like, and that's that little mediocre tool in that bag. And then here we have some washers for whatever reason, but they definitely are there for a reason. So we're gonna make sure we don't lose those, all right? and. I think those are for that patent pending suspension, okay? Because the suspension, even though it's cartridges, it is, it is very different and we're supposed to be able to feel it in the ride, all right? This scooter is 129 pounds. I'll, I'll grab it backwards and bam, easy peasy. <laughs> Man, it is a beauty. It is a beauty. I love the way this scooter looks. Um, the improvements on it, it's just, it's incredible. All right, so I'm going to cut and we're gonna come right back. I'm gonna have all the screws and everything tightened up and then we'll talk about the Dualtron Thunder 3 2023 edition. Don't go nowhere, be right back. All right, so let's start here at the dashboard, the handlebars, all right? This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> um, you'll notice right off the bat that these handlebars look a little wide. Well, guess what? You're right. I don't know if you remember, I predicted, I literally prophesied when I did that Dualtron X Limited video that Mini Motors was working on extending the length of the handlebars and you know on these ecstasy style handlebars the drop downs and this is the first the first one that they did it on and so now so any matter of time when when they start selling um the handlebars where you can now get wider handlebars on your current scooters that you own you know your thunder and your storms and all those you can now change those not now when they release it but we see that 
it exists because now we have 27 and a half inch bars on a dual tron scooter unheard of because they're always 24 inches all right so we got that and and i'm stoked about it one thing i want to see is what is the steering pole height from the deck well it's still pretty close to that 38 but this one is 39 and a half so it gained an inch and a half but you all make a big deal out of the Dualtron sh short stem, but believe it or not, on performance scooters, you want a shorter, you want a shorter steering pole. All right. And of course, you know, this is the stem, not this. All right. So now talking about that, we still have the clamps here that drop down your handlebars when you when you loosen them. You know, you just take that down and drop. But now we have the longer handlebars. This is 27 and a half inches. The first at that length all right we have the i4 display this i4 display is now improved from the previous display we're out in the sun and i could actually see the thing a finger trigger throttle is now with supposedly no latency i haven't ridden it yet i'm going to ride it and i'm going to test that theory whether it has latency or not it also has something that we haven't seen on a Dualtron scooter, and that is the turbo button. The turbo button takes it from single motor to dual. Right? Then we have our multi-switch, where you have your left and right turn signals. Yes, you now have front-facing and rear-facing turn signals on the scooter. I would like to see the front turn signals higher, maybe on the handlebars or somewhere up here where people can see them, but you can still see that at night flashing. That's a good thing, all right? Then we have the horn. That's a, <laughs> that's a beefy horn. Flashers, all right? And um, they're always changing this button right here, so I'm gonna figure out what it's used for now. Right now, it's working for your swag lights, all right? So when I push it, swag is in effect all right you have your halo lights on the bottom you have the steering pole is lit up more than you've ever seen before at nighttime this thing is a beauty so you have more lights now also you have the nut brakes and i'll show you those calibers when we get down there look at this steering pole this steering pole is about three inches in diameter. This thing is real beefy. You will not get any more of the famous Dualtron shimmy. You know, you know how, and I always told you the shimmy is healthy because it keeps you from cracking your, your steering pole. But the build of a steering pole, especially with this kind of girth, has to happen in engineering. You know, like a person like me, you go and try and change our steering pole. We can probably kill ourselves because it won't have enough flex in it. So this, now the way they engineered it has whatever amount of flex it needs now but i'm telling you this thing is solid all right then we have the brand new locking folding locking mechanism no more two dual levers right here and clamps that you oh my god those things are a pain in the butt okay so it's, it's almost similar to the um segway gt2 where it has the lever there to release it. But in order to drop, you have to push these buttons in, all right, to drop the pole. It does lock into itself, but they move the um, where the lock lever goes because remember at first, your handlebars will scratch up this, this uh, footrest on the top. Now, you just lock it in place right there and it doesn't scratch anymore. And now you can literally lift a 129 pound scooter you know like luggage or something <laughs> all right but we don't we don't want that now when you get ready to bring it back up you just bring it up you got make sure that that those uh buttons snap first then you lock that in and that is solid as a rock all right notice that the headset is even thicker it's 3000 lumens 3000 lumens you have the horn is is you heard it it's it's a monster <laughs> a monster of a horn now they've added reflectors on the side all right the swing arms are the same swing arms but you can see some of the improvements on the tip and the look of it and then like i was saying on the brakes we have the four piston 
nut hydraulic disc brakes with the 160 millimeter rotor and i noticed that the gauge is that thicker variety so you'll get better stopping because it's going to be cooler 11 by 4 inch and this right here is the self-healing tubeless pneumatic tire i do like to let out about 4 psi I'll, I'll go to whatever the recommended is and then let out 4 psi and that's how i like i just had like to have more a of a contact patch on the ground all right and now we come around we see this deck this deck is 24 inches long but you only have 19 inches from here to here of usable deck terrain it's 12 and a half inches wide it has the rubber silicone, so it's easy to clean, got good grip, you know, on it. Um, I, I like the silicone, but notice this. The footrest has changed its shape. It's not straight up like it was at first, so you have more angle. So now you can actually probably use it. it you have the little hole still in here where, you know, people are scared they may twist their ankle or something, though. But it's at a different angle, and I've gotten used to, you know, using my foot rests with the hole there, all right? We have the, even the um, fenders are new and different, has a reflector on the rear, um, stencil with Dualtron's name, but the coverage is full. Beautiful coverage on the fenders, so you, you get no debris on your clothing whatsoever, all right? But look at, oh, and then of course the, the uh, kickstand is a robust kickstand. You have dual charging ports, all right? Um, like I said, we only have the one charger. We need two, okay? But look at this motor. 2,500 watts in the rear, 2,500 watts in the front, but it's 10 millimeters thicker or wider to give you a more efficient um, operating motor, and the motor is going to have more power because now it's 10 millimeters wider, all right? It comes equipped with a steering damper, has the standard steering damper. The suspension is a now a patent pending technology where the, they're swappable and changeable, interchangeable, but you can adjust them. It's supposed to be more comfortable. So when we go on this little ride, I'm gonna be testing that suspension to see if it's different than the other Dualtron scooters. This thing is packed with all kinds of power, all right? Um, underneath this deck, under the hood, is a 72 volt, 40 amp hour <clears throat> pack, an LG 50 LT uh, 21 700 cell pack, all right? It also comes with two 50 amp controllers, 2,500 watts of power front and back. Um, this thing is loaded, all right? You got 2,880 watt hours on that pack, all right? Um, you got all the lighting in the steering pole, the deck, and on the, um, on all the uh, swing arms and the control arms, all right? And 3,000 lumens. A uh, headlight power, of course, you saw that as it was running. All right, so that right there is the new Dualtron, Dualtron Thunder 3. This is Old Man Dan saying, make sure you subscribe, like, share my video, and leave comments down below about what you think of the new Dualtron Thunder 3. It's here, it's arrived. Make sure you get yours now. Mini Motors USA, use my name, and they'll roll out the red carpet for you. Tell them Old Man Dan sent you, and that's it. Old Man Dan, I'm out. This bad boy, you can feel the grit. The, the, the throttle is just so smooth. Feels you. Wow.